Today we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Promoted Links web part and how to shrink the size of tiles and make them wrap differently. So here we have a test page called Shrink and Wrap WP. It has a Promoted Links web part which has been customized. If I go into edit mode we have the traditional Promoted Links web part on the bottom and we have an additional web part on the top with a snippet of code. In that snippet of code we have a reference to two different JS files. One is shrink and wrap promoted links. The other is WP settings for saving settings. We have a div container to surface the settings and we also have a CSS style to hide the traditional promoted links. So what we're doing here is we're overriding the display that Microsoft has and providing a different tile size and different wrapping. So by adding this snippet of code on the page we're able to obtain different functionality. So we'll go ahead and hit OK to save the page. There we have our snippet saved and we can see promoted links now coming in at a smaller tile size than what we normally would see. The source code for this was uploaded to the site assets library of the root SharePoint site. So on whatever your web application URL is, there's a site assets library at the root. That's where I uploaded the JS files. Here you can see we have wpsettings.js and we also have a shrink and wrap promoted links.js which is where the main source code lives. In that source code, if we open it up, we'll see there's a number of methods. We're augmenting the prototype of the replace function. We have some CSS and here we're dynamically building CSS. So for a given web part, we have the ability to generate the CSS that provides minimum height and width and the overlay and all the different hovering needed to change the size of a promoted link. And then down here we have the ability to persist those settings and save them with the WPS write function, which is part of WP settings. When this initializes, we're using SP body onload to push an initialization function. This will try to see if we're in design mode or if we're in page edit mode, go ahead and read the settings we have or you know are we in visitor mode or are we in page edit mode and it will render differently based on that. So here we're looking at the finished product <clears throat> with the promoted links tiles which have been sized down and these are currently at 100 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall. We can see that by hitting F12 and looking at the computed tab. So if we open the page in edit mode, we'll see we have shrink and wrap promoted links at the top and we're presented with a settings display where we can say how many and what size we want to have rendered. So we could adjust this and maybe do 6 by 120. Go ahead and save and then save the page. And now we have a different experience where the tiles are coming through a little bit larger. So in edit mode, this top web part is providing us with a settings display. And then when we're not in edit mode, it's going to modify the Microsoft default. So down here is the Microsoft default promoted links. It has navigation in the top right. It's a single row. The tiles are fairly large. So here what we're doing is we're providing different settings which land in a SharePoint list in the background. That's what the WP settings file is doing for us is persisting the JSON, saving those preferences so that when we view the page in read-only mode, we're getting a nice user experience where the tiles are coming through at a more friendly size. So if you want to install this, the steps are to upload the files to Site Assets. Uh, here we have a JS folder underneath Site Assets. From there we upload WP settings, make a folder for shrink and wrap. Inside of there, add the script editor and the JS file. And then on the page itself, go ahead and hit edit mode and add a script editor web part. That's what this uh, second file is for. It contains all the source code so that this script editor web part will end up containing this little bit of HTML file that reads WP settings first, shrink and wrap second, has a container for settings, and then hides the Microsoft default. So that's what the script editor is going to do for us. Gives us a foothold for changing the rendering of the page. And it also provides a way to modify settings with a save button that lets us change our preferences. So that's how we can change promoted links. Thanks for watching.